Hi there, welcome to Alpine Brado. My name's Brendan. This is my channel for all things Flight Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this uh, video, it's the second in two little videos I'm going to make looking at the stability of the Kodiak um, when being hand flown. And this is following a problem that uh, one of the users on the Microsoft official uh, forums was reporting uh, that he couldn't maintain street and level flight. Uh, and uh, so I've already made one video looking at uh, how the Kodiak performs uh, with the existing flight model. Um, and it's pretty stable. Uh, I don't think uh, the problem that that user was encountering was to do with the flight model, something else. Uh, however, the flight model I f do find, on, particularly on the roll axis in some other ways, is a little bit unstable. So this video, I'll just be showing what the stability is like with the modified flight model that I've been using myself. Um, so I'll just get the aircraft up and in the air, I'm cruising along at 2,000 feet. I'm here at uh, Palm Beach International, just trying to recreate the conditions uh, as closely as possible that the original uh, that the user Hellcars Crest was reporting in his video. Uh, so just for the conditions, um, standard weight and balance, just exactly as you would get when you spawn in, not altered anything, center of gravity, it's just normal. And with the weather, just what I've got is the standard uh, clear weather preset, just modified to match uh, what Hellcars Crest had, which was a five knot wind from the east. Uh, and one thing I have done though is uh, what we'll do is we'll keep a gust in there. Five knots. So I'm just interested to see how that uh, affects it. Very buggy, this system actually. That's. Uh, get a yeah that looks about all right okay uh yep so uh that's the um the weather that we'll be using and we'll bring the input viewer up once uh, we're up in the air Just worth saying that the turbulence is set to realistic, although I don't think it tends to uh, have any effect when you're using a clear weather preset. There shouldn't be any turbulence, but we'll see. Okay, so here I am flying. I've got uh, torque set to a thousand just over. Trimmed it out on the elevator. Uh, for 2,000 feet and uh, you can see it's uh, definitely compared to the last uh, tests which were at Key West this is at uh, West Palm and there's more turbulence here from the turbulence setting and uh, that might be one explanation why the user was having a problem So I'm banking slightly to the left as well. I don't have any aileron trim in. I'll just put a little, oh, sorry, I'm putting in rudder trim. So we'll put in some aileron trim, which is, uh, these are the aileron trim switches down here. They're not used very much, but uh, certainly for hand flying, if you want to get it nicely balanced. So moving around a bit, I'm flying hands-free at the minute. One thing you can do is uh, make little adjustments to the uh, to the trim. If you have a trim wheel, it's quite easy. Fly along and just uh, make minor adjustments. That's quite normal and realistic. But you can see how stable it is. I'm not. Uh, I'm getting gusts pushing me around a bit. But I find 
just depending on how the gusts hit with this flight model uh, it does it's more positive stability and it will return not hugely I mean it's if it's a strong enough gust it won't but uh, compared to before see uh, that's it returning to uh, the attitude that I had before still just got a little roll in there probably do the touch more elevator trim there's some more gusts hitting I haven't touched the controls now for a good couple of minutes pitch attitude is fine it's uh, it is returning to stable and of course if you pitch up and you climb a bit um, your attitude may return to stable, but it won't return you to the altitude that you were at before. If you've gained height as a result of the gust pitching you up a bit, well, you've gained height. And you'll return to a stable attitude, uh, but you won't necessarily lose the height. So yeah, still haven't touched the controls. So you can see that on the input viewer. No, there's been no input there at all and it's uh, just flying along very sweetly so what about in a turn well let's uh, put in a 5 degree turn see that how it holds that now of course you need to retrim putting in a turn to make sure it doesn't pitch up and uh, climb, that's normal. Ah, that was a gust there. And another one. Let's see if it returns to that 5 degree uh, left bank attitude. It does return, yeah, getting more gusts knocking me around a bit here, but it has returned to basically a stable attitude. Okay, let's try with a slightly steeper bank. Try and coordinate my turn a little bit. Go for 20 degrees now. Trim it again. Uh, definitely encountering gust uh, turbulence. It's hard to see when it's turbulence or it's a wind gust. I could find out by turning one off. holding at the 20, 20 degree bang. Let's just try and get that with a bit more precision. Okay, there's 20 degrees there. I'm hands off now. Slightly uncoordinated. So it's definitely exhibiting some positive stability there, actually. It's not wanting to hold that 20 degrees. It is wanting to bank a little bit and that's good that's better than uh, negative stability what about stability in a climb we'll set uh, we'll set 4,000 feet and we'll see we'll pitch it up for we'll uh, put on flight level change mode and we'll set a uh, pitch it for say 105 knots of course I'll have to increase power I'll set uh, not getting the flight director of course coming because I haven't uh, it's waiting for me to get to my target speed yeah, that's a uh, around. 
just have to hold the nose down. Give it a bit more welly. I'll take it up to 1400. Better said to uh, set it to five thousand for the climb. We were just creeping up there. Okay. Now then, let's trim it for. Oh, I'm definitely getting gusts. Okay, uh, I've set my speed too high. I'll bring it down to ninety for the climb. So it's gone back to uh, capture the altitude. Right, rather than doing it that way, let's let's pitch up to five degrees. We'll change the power. Bouncing around a bit in these uh, gusts. Still trying to find my trim. Okay, I'm actually going to now see how it holds at 10 degrees. So this is with gusts, and you can see it's pushing it around a bit, and it is quite hard to hold. Let's uh, find out if we turn all that off, what happens. Okay, I've uh, turned off the gusts in the weather preset. Uh, I've descended to 3,000 feet, or I had been 3,000 feet, and just hand flying it along here. And I've got one unit of aileron trim in and it is pretty rock steady. I did allow it to lose a bit of altitude, 100 feet. Still got a little bit of uh, tendency to turn to the left, so we could put in even a little bit more aileron trim. There's two units now. Just making uh, fingertip adjustments here. So three feels like it's too much now. So somewhere between two and three at uh, a thousand in these atmospheric conditions. So. But as you can see, it's, uh, you know, without the gusts, it's absolutely rock steady. Also worth saying that uh, we've been doing all of this with full flaps, and what I'll try now is uh, see how slow I can go full flaps. So I've reduced power to 880 torque. We do know that the uh, drag that you get at th flaps 35 is pretty pretty excessive so I'm going to try and maintain my attitude. There's 55. Not stalling yet. 
Now, one thing I have done in this flight model is I've tuned down the P factor, which was one of the reasons. So now I'm at 51. Obviously, having to uh, pitch up quite a bit to maintain attitude, there's 47. Now, stall at full at maximum takeoff is 47. So there's stall at 36, 46. I'm not actually stalling. I don't have. Yeah, I'm starting to stall now. The wing is getting tired. Don't have a great deal of. I mean, I've got some aileron control, but as you'd expect at uh, this attitude and speed, it's kind of mushy. But I'm not entering into the yaw of death, which is what happens with the excessive P factor. You start yawing off to the left in an uncontrollable way. So, you know, yeah, I was flying along there at 46 knots, no problem. So, what's the verdict? Well, uh, to my mind, it's certainly an improvement uh, over the current release. Uh, I've been using it now for a couple of months. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, lots of people are going to say, hey, where can we get this flight model? Well, I'm not going to distribute it. I don't think that's a responsible thing for me to do. Um, you know, flight... Uh, Flight Sim developers put a lot of effort into getting their flight models right. Also, it's something I do uh, commercially, and uh, it's uh, obviously taken me a lot of time and knowledge to build up how to uh, refine flight models, and I do work with professional developers to help them uh, refine their flight models. So what I will be doing is I'll be sharing this with uh, Alex at SWS, and uh, hopefully when they're clear of getting the PC-12 launched, which I'm really hyped and excited for. It'll be really awesome. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to consider it uh, uh, with his uh, Kodiak flight testers and see what they think about it. But uh, yeah, don't ask because I won't be sharing it, I'm afraid. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, take care. Uh, if you liked it, hit like and subscribe. Cheers.